What life hack became your daily routine? Saying, thank you, instead of apologizing for things that don't need apologies. I'm a chronic apologizer and it's helped a lot. For example, if I have a bad day and vent to my husband, instead of saying, sorry for venting and bringing down the mood, I'll say, thank you for listening and being supportive. It puts a much more appreciative and positive light on your relationships. This is a customer service trick I was taught. If you thank a customer for their patience instead of apologizing for their weight it reframes the entire encounter in their mind. I like this. Like the saying, thank you for waiting, instead of, I'm sorry I'm late. Don't put it down, put it away. Stops clutter at the source. Washing dishes while cooking. Now it's at a point where I just do it because I want a clean kitchen. Yes. My wife always asks why I do it while I'm cooking and it's because it's so much easier when things are not yet dried on. Is loads easier and you keep your space ready for the next part of the cooking process. I stopped doing any kind of work in my dorm room at college and only did it at the libraries. Not only did I become way more productive, but I enjoyed being in my room a lot more. It's way more comfortable and easier to fall asleep when you've taken a 15-minute walk home than when you've been working at your desk in the same room for four hours. Preparing getting stuff ready the night before. For example, 1. Getting my shoes and putting them by the front of the door. 2. Packing my backpack with all the things I'll need for that day. 3. Getting my underwear, shirt, pants, etc. out and folding them in a pile. 4. Packing lunches for that day. No more running around in the mornings looking for stuff on a time crunch. It's become so much less stressful when I know where everything is and I can just get everything on and leave. It's so nice when past you has prepared everything for present you. You don't have to follow the rules. Doing half the dishes is better than doing none. Having a clean hamper and a dirty hamper is completely acceptable. Nobody said the socks in your drawer had to be paired up either. Focus on one thing in general and apply it to the whole house that day, like just do floors or surfaces. There's nothing wrong with your kids being bored sometimes, that's their problem. Let them figure it out, but don't limit what they're able to do. You don't have to pick what to have for dinner every night. We rotate through staples every week. If we get bored, we just eat what we feel like. Nothing wrong with a bowl of cereal and a sandwich for dinner, as long as everyone's fed and the rest of the day wasn't junk. A life hack for students. When you are writing a research-lengthy essay or report, find one very comprehensive source, literature reviews are great for this, that directly relates to your topic or thesis, then use the paper's reference list bibliography for locating your sources. Don't you hate it when you show someone one picture on your phone and then they start scrolling through looking at your other pictures? I learned this from Reddit, enlarge the picture just a little bit. Then when they go to swipe, they are just moving that picture around and not going to your next picture. It works. A work from home life hack I adopted was using break time from work to do low mental energy chores. Stuff like dusting furniture and vacuuming the pool is a nice break from the mental energy of working and I'm getting stuff done. I do squats when I brush my teeth. And while flossing. I used to religiously do my flossing in the shower, with conditioner working its magic in my hair, while squatting. The dangerous slippery shower floor really makes you feel alive. I do calf raises while brushing. There's literally no excuse not to. I bought 24 pairs of the same socks and threw the rest of mismatching ones away. I have a couple, winter socks, and that's it. I flip my pill bottles after taking them so I remember if I took them or not. Really helps if you take the same pill in morning and at night. I do the opposite. Flip it upside down before bed so when I see it in the morning, it annoys me. So I remember to take one and put it right side up again. I work in a very, very busy retail store. When my shift ends and I need to walk through the sales floor I always walk in a hurry with a focused expression on my face and no one ever stops to ask me questions. If I look happy or make eye contact with customers they will 100% of the time start asking me questions as I try to leave. When I used to work in retail, I just walked around like that all day. Very quiet days. Brushing with my left hand, I'm right-handed and I read back in the day that if you train your brain to use your non-dominant hand you'll be good in task management, I think. 
brush teeth with non-dominant hand while doing squats in the shower waiting for my hair to deep condition then floss. Got it. That's one reason I use my computer mouse with my non-dominant hand a lot when doing regular stuff, not gaming basically. It really helps with your offhand dexterity. I think I know what stuff you mean. Whenever I want to get up from bed, I just it's gonna be a shock or get up from bed. No thinking, no slozzing, no laziness. Just get the fuck up. All I need is exactly one second after waking up and realizing that I have to get up, and then I immediately get up. I've noticed that the more I lay off and the more I stay in bed, the harder it is to actually get up. Getting all the sleep I need. I noticed a while back how literally everything is better when I am well rested, and I don't care if people make fun of me for sleeping 9h every night. I have never pulled an all-nighter in college, and when I do hikes that start really early I just go to bed for the night in the late afternoon the day before and still get my sleep. Nothing standing between me and my bed lol. Shopping a list. Putting things on a list when they need to be replaced, and the sticking to the list when I go shopping. It's probably saved me many thousands of dollars by now. My wife and I share one in the notes app. If we use the last of something, pull out the phone and add it to the list. Works great. When I'm trying to sleep in bed at night I go over what I did that day and think of everything I did in a positive light, or as if it's part of a goal I'm working towards. I've never been depressed, or at least diagnosed with it, but this helps feeling like I've accomplished something and I can feel better about what I've done. Celebrate every little thing you did, and also it helps me fall asleep a little bit faster too. Befriend your professors and teachers. They'll go out of their way to help you. When I was a freshman in college, I was close with my English professor at the time, a tiny woman from Bosnia that could run in stiletto heels. I had a lot of nasty roommate problems that year, and she always came to my rescue if I needed to hide from my roommate. When my roommate attacked me and I was moved to protective housing on emergency, she rallied all of the strongest people in my class to help me move. Befriend the cleaning staff in the dorms. I gave the woman that comes to clean my sweet bathroom a cupcake because my birthday had been recent, and now she moves heaven and earth for me. Normally my sweet mates and I have to take care of the road salt that gets tracked into the small common room, but since I gave her a cupcake she mops it all up for us. Being nice to people who deserve it will get you really, really far in life. Drinking one cup of water for every two alcoholic beverages. I keep a bottle of water by my bedside before I go to bed. When I wake up to go pee I chug as much as I can and pass back out. End up with far less of a hangover. This became your daily routine? They actually have to drink a lot of alcohol to justify all the water they drink. If you get stuck in the hood for any reason, carry a small pad and pen. Walk around taking notes. When someone asks what you are doing, Tell them pre-survey for government aid. You'll get a damn tur instead of mugged. Letting a drop of superglue dry on the up face of my USB phone charger handle. The superglue solidifies and becomes hard, which means you know which side is up just by rubbing your finger over the handle, so you always plug it into your device the right way first time every time. I wish I had this in college. If I have work or study to do, and I'm not motivated and just start procrastinating, again, I watch a video or listen to a podcast of the topic on YouTube. It helps to get my brain focused on the subject before I get started on my own critical thinking. That way I'm not going from 0 to 100 and risking my attention going elsewhere. Every time I leave a room I spend less than 30 seconds tidying or doing one task. Pick up a pillow off the floor. Return a glass to the kitchen. Going to the bathroom. Carry up some laundry. Literally every time I leave a room. It's such a habit now that I don't even think about it but I do notice that my home is always tidy. If it takes less than a minute, just do it. I dip my fork into the salad dressing before I form each salad bite instead of pouring it all over. I get a fraction of the calories, yet each bite has plenty of dressing. Mindfulness. Be aware of what you're doing, pay attention to the steps you are taking as you walk, and what people and places you are passing by. It's so easy to just zone out and float on through, but really put some effort into cementing yourself into the present. This sounds flighty and nonsensical, but it helps with stuff like making sure you remember you have your keys or credit card or wallet with you as you are leaving a place, because you are conscious of the act of putting them back in your pocket instead of zoning out and doing it automatically, 
risking completely forgetting it. If I want to force myself to exercise in the morning I wear my gym clothes to bed. Use cold water to wash blood out of clothes, it works better. If you catch it before it it gets too dry stick it in some cold water with a lot of salt and let it soak for a while. That will remove all of the stain and you can throw it in the washer with the rest of the laundry after. Source. M serial killer. Okay not really just have child with lots of nose bleeds. Well stop punching your kid in the face. Cup of water in the microwave. Food takes about twice as long to warm back up but is never dry. Dampen a paper towel and lay over the food in the microwave. Fast heating times and your food is not dried out. If you're getting groceries, fart in the detergent cleaning product aisle. You're welcome. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.